Today's video is round two of the Caterham 270R Championship and we are heading to North Yorkshire to Croft Circuit. I haven't raced at Croft since 2021 when I did the Caterham Academy and it was one of my favourite circuits so I'm really looking forward to testing. Speaking of testing, let's get straight in the car. Right, we're going testing. See you in a bit later. Yeah, nice one. I'll see you in a few laps. So the plan is throw a few laps, come in, check tyre pressures, give any feedback I've got with the car to Dan. Gotcha, Morning Theo, how are you? Oh, well, how are you? Yeah, very, very good. I've never tried this audio in the car thing. Right, let's get this bad boy warmed up. Oh, it's very gravelly. Woo! You get my hands warmed up as well. Brakes feel good. Got some new EBC brakes in at the moment. Fucking hell Lou, she's gone deep. Cold tyres, bit sideways go. Big locker for me. Right, this track feels greasy. Wow, let's go! How'd you get it that wrong? Who even is that? Right. <laughs> it feels loose as hell. Way too arsy. But then the front pushes all the way through this corner. Yeah, it's well arsy. You saw that rear bias break out as well. Yeah, I'll go in now. Yeah, what the hell? I need to get it sorted. What a crazy track. First impressions of the car, it's very, very arty. I'm not sure if you can hear much what I was talking about. Hopefully we can sort sort the rear end out a bit. We'll see what Darren says about the tyre pressures. David, how's your car feel? How's your car feel? Mine's shite. See that? Well, I think it's got a big bump there. See, I that the real end is way too arsy. And the EPR car was much better through there, it was flat. Oh no! Losing the wall. Really, it's so arsy, it's so hard to drive. Yeah. That's it. Right, we got a lot to do. I couldn't keep up with anyone. Giles was pissing all over me. Uh, on the way in, the back is just nothing. There's nothing. I get on the brakes, the front loads up, and the back's like on ice. You all good? Yeah. Hi. Good lad. Yeah, just coming out, and I was like, I can save it, I can save it, I can. Oh, it's gone. And then I was still holding the steering wheel. Really. I saw you go past, I was like, no. Yay. You're right. I didn't know I was, if you. I was expecting you to get moving again and come round. I could have, yeah. like, if the steering was fine, I would have yeah. done, but it's, you can see the, the, the wheels spoiling yeah. the whole. Hello. Hi. Is that Damage. It's a steering, I think, hopefully, and a new nose cone. Nah, cable ties on that bad boy. Cable ties. Or cable ties. Cable Definitely. Ties money. This is probably behind the scenes of a race weekend. <laughs> Stop moving it. Day one, we've got three days of this. Well, we've got two days of testing and two days of racing.
So it's day two testing. Yesterday we got a very good setup in the car at the end of the day. I was whinging and moaning because I was, didn't feel right in the car and as you can see from some of that footage, but we got a very good setup and we're very happy with it. And it's something that we've, it's a setup that we've never even, even tried before. It's, it's one that doesn't make any sense logistically, but we tried it and it works and I'm happy with it. So we're doing that. We just went out, it's Friday at the moment. We went out for a wet session this morning. Had a little spin, didn't I? But I was just trying to uh, get it sideways for the photographer, get some good photos. But it seems to be drying up and it's Friday testing. We've got two more sessions and then qualifying. So it is race day. We're qualifying in about an hour. We've had driver's briefing. Dr. Dave is going to give me a fantastic toe. I'm going to give you a Red Bull and then a toe. A Red Bull, a toe and a tug. And he's going to put me on pole. So <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> and you'll return the favour. <laughs> we are now on the scales. The idea of this is to get as close as we can to the minimal weight and the light of the car obviously the better power to weight ratio we got. So we're trying to make this car as quick as possible for qualifying. We've got two liters of fuel in at the moment and that's the legal requirement we have to come in with fuel. So we're just weighing the car to make sure once we finish qualifying, we are on point with the weight. But we're right on the limit already. That means I can't lose a wing or anything like that. So it's good to know. So now it's qualifying. This is the time that really matters. I've got to get everything I've learned from testing, put it all together into one lap and make the fastest lap possible. I managed to put it on pole by one hundredth of a second from Freddie, but incredibly close, but that doesn't matter because it means that I'm on the front row. Well done, mate. Did you see me? Take all the cones? I found it really hard to get heat and tyres. Yeah. So qualifying's finished. P1 for me, which is absolutely brilliant. I got like just one clean lap with a good toe and they put me on pole. I was dragging Kendall round, I was dragging I was dragging uh, David around as well. So it was about time they returned the favour. So I pulled in and had a good run up behind them and managed to get one really good lap in. So I'm pretty happy. Let's see what happens in race one. Charlie, how are you well, feeling? Good, I've had three poos. We went to some dodgy curry shop in uh, Darlington last night. And uh, so I'm definitely race weight today. Dan's given me his bollocking as usual. <laughs> told me to send it, not break it. <laughs> good to go. Know, break it. Let's go. Right. Yeah. So now it's time we've been waiting for. It's race one. So I'm just getting some heat in the tyres at the moment, just warming up the fronts, making it understeer and warming up the rears. Um, yeah, but it's very key not to get them too hot for the race start because then they won't last for the whole race. Right, we're on the start line now. The lights come on and we're waiting and the lights go off and we've not got the best reaction start. You see Freddie's actually dipped in front of us there, but I just get a better dig and a better drive. But now this means I'm leading into turn one. Obviously Freddie got the slip down the back straight and overtook into tower on lap one, but this just meant I needed to follow behind him and carry this overall speed and try and break away from the pack behind. I knew my car was pretty good around this back section in the complex and Freddie couldn't get the drive he wanted out of this hairpin so it was a super super slow hairpin second gear is probably is one of the slowest corners in the UK and I managed to just pull right behind him get the good punch out of the corner get the slipstream and make the move work to turn one so around the outside I go he tucks in behind me and that's the move done now we're coming down the back section into sunny in See how much more the car is stable through here. There's tiny bits of steering correction, but nowhere near as bad as testing. So yeah, we got the car dialed in. I'm super happy of what it was like. Now I'm getting the toe. I've got the run out of the corner on the inside line. Do I make the lunge? Yep, Freddie runs wide. It's obviously not as grippy on the outside line. And now I cut in front of him through the complex. Right, so we're coming into tower again, side by side, but I have to heal and let him go in front because we can't go two by two down through these s bends down here is absolutely flat down here and you get the, this insane amount of toe that's up to about five mile an hour faster so you can see i can just rein it in rein it out whenever i want and the aim is to not be too close into the braking zone so nice get on the brakes nice and steady the car is so level and so flat you can see there's a slight bump there but my car's not phased by it and i can get on the throttle super early out of here all right closing into freddy i know i'm fast through this section so I'm up the inside again leaves the inside open for me and tuck it on the inside, taking the cut, perfect. I've run a little bit wider than I would want to, but I made the move work. So I held the lead for most of the race. Me and Freddie were a bit tit for tat, but I managed to get a bit of a gap on him where I could hold the lead for the majority of the race. So from the live stream angle, this is second to last lap. I can see there's a back marker coming up 
and I make the move right in front of him. I knew if there's a back marker, I want to be in front because I want to control where I want to be when I have to overtake that back marker. Luckily, I've got amazing drive out of here. I've tucked into his toe and uh, I managed to just pull around him. I get that slingshot effect, that extra five mile an hour more that you get down the straight and um, into the braking zone, very clear of the back marker and Freddie gets caught behind him. So this gives me a lot more breathing time and especially on the last lap, I couldn't ask for a better timing for a back marker to come into play. But not quite enough as Charlie Lower accelerates through the final corner, sees the check of flight and I will be waved out of the cockpit and that is a victory for Charlie Lower. Congratulations, Charlie, on the win. You, uh -huh. you let Freddie get in there, didn't you, just to take the lead for a short while? <laughs> yeah, incredible. Freddie does such a good job. He was always on me. There was never a moment where I could just relax. But you, you know, t converted the pole into a race win, which is just, you know, fantastic for the championship. Uh, but you and Freddie had your own little race, didn't you? You were quite, uh, quite ahead of the others. Yeah, I'm not sure where the others dropped off to, but I saw Cookie got a podium, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, and he's super fast. And the rest of them, come on, Kendall and David Rook, they're all, like, they all could have been on this podium. So, yeah, it was a super good race. Congratulations, well done. Cheers. Right. Race one's done. I am absolutely shagged. That was a really hard race between me and Freddie. And luckily a back marker got involved and it kind of gave me a bit of a gap over the finish line. So, <sighs> what a race. Dan's made an incredible car. It hooks up incredibly. And we've tried things that we've never tried before. After testing that I was a bit confused and why I had no rear end, we've now absolutely overcome that and built a car that's an absolute machine for this track. Yeah, fastest lap as well in the front led most of it but gonna get in huh all great, points. all great points i'm gonna enjoy this beer have a little nap i think right what would you like me to talk about so it's day two it's bl it's very hot <laughs> <laughs> post lunchtime we've just been called down to go charlie's not speaking to the camera because he's really nervous here he is but coming from a win yesterday that was an epic result wasn't it yeah you can only go down from here you're going to go down from there. I rolled in in fourth, which I was pretty pleased with, my best ever result. So hopefully one step up today. I Two of us on the podium. Should we yeah, get a double podium a today? Podium. If you're not, I'll be fuming. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> race two, we are now still on the front row. Freddie is next to me, like race one. I get a brilliant start. Freddie gets a pretty good start as well, but if you look behind, David gets an even better start, and Freddie's having to defend into turn one, which means I get racing line, line all the way through turn one. And I mean, it was pretty clean, turn one. There was a few bits of carnage. There's a car on the gravel there, there's a little incident, but. That is clean for turn one in Caitlin Racing. Right, so look, he, he makes the move into tower. I just then tuck him behind him through the S's. Absolutely nose to tail through here. And we're hitting about 100 mile an hour. And to be that close into the braking zone is pretty scary. But I have all trust in Freddie. I managed to get a really good run out of this corner. Look, as I say, I was right on him. It's so close. The car's so much more stable through here now. But I managed to get on the throttle before Freddie and I literally just push him through the corner. I get a tiny bit of oversteer there which affects my exit but not too much where I can't make this move stick. Up the inside, take the cut, perfect. Look at that, just hug the inside line all the way around there. Freddie has to heel behind me and yeah, I'm back onto another lap leading. I've managed to pull a bit of a gap here and actually David's managed to get between me and Freddie which is absolutely amazing. That's two hardline cars up on the podium at the moment. Not just on the podium but one two. Three abreast into this hairpin and unfortunately this gives David Rook a radiator problem and his radiator bursts all down the pit lane so he has to come in. Such a shame because he was doing amazingly well. He was up in second place and he was in contention for a podium but just lost out because of that move there. Me and Freddie go side by side into tower again, but I just about defend from him and make it work. This was the last lap, so I needed to stay in front, and I knew I was fast through this section. This was last lap, so I knew I needed to be in front of him. I think up into the, the, the complex, but if that doesn't happen for then I think it's done. Yep, if you're a Chubix, now is the time to lick the stamp and send it for this race victory. He's showing his nose to the inside as we're headed into the complex. Will that become the outside? No, he's still behind lower. I'm looking at my rear window. I can see Chubix now mirroring low. It's got to be done in the hairpin. This is the only opportunity that is very, very do or die in that final corner. Not quite close enough, I don't think. No, there we go. So, powering out through the hairpin. It is lower. The race leader and will now be the race victor as he takes the checkered flag from Chubix in what was a sensational race. Over to Charlie. Charlie, what a race. Congratulations on another win. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was a great race. Great battle, Freddie. Yet again, stuck it to me the whole time. There was not a lot I could do, but it was a fantastic clean race. 
you had um, David Rook up there as well, didn't you, for a moment? Yeah, to have my teammate David up there was amazing. You know, it just made me smile when I got in the mirrors. And yeah, it was a shame. I think he had some problem with his radiator or had some collision or something, but he should be up here as well because he drove amazingly. So we just finished race two. It was two, wasn't it? Race two. Yeah. Mixed um, results. Mixed results. Yet again, I managed to pull off a win. Freddie stuck it to me hard, but I managed to just keep him off for the last lap. But um, David was doing extremely well. At one time, I looked in my mirrors, and I just see this shiny, beautiful red Catrum. I'm like, yes, David, let's go. And then I actually gave you a bit P2. of toe into, yeah, into P2. Great teamwork. Um, so we were working together at that point, but I don't know how. I think the others man managed to catch you, or what happened? Um, so yeah, so we just had someone come up. Cookie went past, which was all good. And then we had a bit of a tangle in the hairpin. Oh, it was just bad luck. We've already done a radiator this weekend. We've had so, to. Yeah, but ru ruptured my radiator, and that's the end of the race. Yeah. So that's not ideal. Burn from the stern. Yeah, David's starting at the back for this race, and uh, I'm really looking forward to. I'm it. hoping to see him at the front very soon. Exactly. Well, I, was, I got there. Yeah, you got there. Yeah. Right. We're going out for the final race this weekend. I'm absolutely knackered, but let's hope for another win. And there'll be good points for this weekend. I won't bore you with too much because it's all much of what you've already seen, but we'll skip forwards now into the last few laps. We've got about two and a half minutes left now, and there is a massive collision coming out of the hairpin. Somebody missed the gear and it caused a free car pile up. Uh, Cookie's car, I think is okay. I hope there's not too much damage. At this point, Freddie was in the lead and I wanted to try and move to see if this would work on the last lap basis, but I tuck it up the inside. He runs a bit wide, but we get a bit of tire contact and it lifts the front of my car up that's me waving saying sorry but this is the last lap now we're coming in through sunny and sunny out you can see freddie's right on the edge of grip he just touched the grass there this means i'm right backed on him and this is where i excel through this section so i was going for the outside line and it was just who could break the latest and freddie actually broke slightly later than me um, so the move was not on i couldn't make it work so then now it was time to have another go at the hairpin but he just gapped me very slightly because i had to take reserved line through the other section but we're nose to tail now coming over the finish just seeing if i can get the slipstream but freddie won the race by 0.16 of a second but now what an epic race and congratulations to him yeah, that was a great battle for you and charlie yeah finally we got there <laughs> another exactly the same as the two races before 20 minutes of charlie and i nose to tail nose to tail i was just saying to freddie like you know it was a great battle um for, with you two and it's great for us to watch yeah he well honestly it was a tip for tap for all of us for that whole time so to get two over one of his is pretty good for me this weekend but no incredible race and uh he fought really hard and it was really fair so no good job to him Excellent. nice weekend for you <laughs> yeah and, and thank you so much to the team for getting the car so good the car's best it's ever been so big shout out to dan at hardline Excellent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great weekend, guys. Absolutely smashed it, David. Thank the you. The pace was impeccable. And Lou, absolutely smashed it. But actually didn't smash it, which is amazing. <laughs> Other than a little dink and testing, but we'll forget about that. I'll show you that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good race for Alan. I did. Thank you for a wonderful weekend. <laughs> oh. Team hug. Team hug. Hey, Hello, Alan. Nice to see you. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. Fantastic see you end. In see you in Holland. We'll see you in Holland. See you in Holland. <laughs> um, what a fantastic weekend we've got I got a, a win and a fastest lap a win and a second so um, what about you yeah mine wasn't quite so good excellent pace <laughs> sat in third for most of the first race and finished fourth sat in second and third for most of the second race and got a DNF yeah and then came from the back of the grid to 10th hey! which was really that's good going fun, that's it? good going and Lou's right. kept out of trouble all weekend, absolutely smashed it. I discovered a new corner at Croft. We've got Sunny in, Sunny out, and in the middle there is Sunny off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll name that one after Louise. Anyway, we'll see you next time at Zanvort. Ciao.